everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video that is kind of like an anti haul but not really. And I'm kind of calling it like stop and these are items that. that when I initially see them on an app or on Instagram or um, maybe someone's talking about them on YouTube or something like that. Initially my first thought is yes I want to have that. I need to have that. And then I'm just like no no no. <laughs> you won't use it. It's not um, whether it's because I have multiples of that in my collection and they just don't work for me or it's something I don't enjoy using or whatever reason. There's different things that I literally it's it's not because, um, you know, it's unnecessary for me to have more because let's face it, my collection is pretty pretty extensive for the average person. Um, and I don't need any more. I probably have enough to last a couple of lifetimes, um, especially where eyeshadow palettes are concerned. But this isn't an anti-haul in a, in a, a minimalism kind of thing. This is an anti-haul in uh, like slap your hand and remind yourself that um, no, you're not going to use these things. It's a waste of money. It's going to sit in a drawer and rot. You're not going to enjoy them. So don't buy them. They might look pretty. P other people might like them. But you, Leia, no, no, no. Now, the thing that kind of got this whole thing rolling is cream products in general. Especially, I, I keep hearing people hyping up um, the cloud paints. Is it? I forget who makes them. Anyway, those things. But then people are talking about the Flower Beauty ones or the Maybelline ones. And um, Patrick Ta has these new cream products out. And there's just all these cream products, especially in summertime. You tend to see a lot more of these items coming out. And I always want them. They look so pretty. But I don't use cream products. I don't enjoy cream products. I find I get a better... Um, application with powders and I just enjoy them more. I don't like a tacky finish on my skin, which is part of the reason why. So, I mean, if I'm going to get a cream product, I'm going to layer a pile of powder on top of it um, because I don't want to feel tacky. I am a powder fiend. I know this. I don't, I don't like feeling tacky or anything on my skin. It needs to be, I don't care. I'd rather be cakey looking and powdery than have tacky texture on my so face. So that's kind of what got this all, all started. The next item that I have on my Oh my goodness, I didn't bring my list down. I brought down my grocery list. <sighs> Un momento, por favor. I know that was very bad. I'm going to go get my actual list and not the grocery list because that doesn't do you any good. Just a minute. Of course. I ran all the way upstairs to the kitchen. It wasn't there. This is my grocery list or my meal plan. It's on this side. Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving along, next on my list would be dewy or glowy foundations. Now, I think these look beautiful on other people. I think it looks healthy and it just, it looks really nice on the skin. But when I put them on myself, all I can see is like glowiness and it makes me think that I'm, I'm getting oily and I'm not. I have very normal skin. Um, it might lean towards oily, but not really. Like someone who's oily would be like, yeah, you don't have oily skin at all. Um, but it's definitely not dry. But I think it also goes back to the tackiness of when I look at a glowy foundation, I think that it's gonna be tacky even if it dries down. My thought is it, it looks glowy, so therefore it's going to be tacky and wet. Um, so I don't like them for myself. I buy them and I don't like how they look and I don't like how they feel and I never use them. Next up on my list are brow pens. I have a few of them here. I do have one that I do like and it's the MAC um, Shape and Shade Brow Tint. Um, this one is one of the, how do you say, single tip ones varieties. It's not the tri-tip ones. And this does work for me. Um, I do find it still a little bit even warm for me when it goes on. I really do enjoy my brows being a little bit cooler. Um, but this does work in a pinch. However, I've tried like the tri-tip ones and I've tried the single tip ones because I want to have those beautiful fluffy brows with like the faux brow strokes in the front and I cannot get them to work. I get so frustrated and then sometimes I'll get one to look right and the other one won't. It's not worth the hassle for me. I need to stop buying them because it is not the pen that is the problem. It is the person trying to apply the pen to the face. So, so buying more brow pens is not going to fix the problem. Another item I need to stop myself from buying are loose powders. I do have a few here. Um, this one came in 
a boxy charm or something and this one I bought on my own because I heard someone raving about it and yes it is beautiful on the skin um, this is the Marcel face powder and it I use it as a finishing powder and it gives a beautiful look to the skin and but it's just so messy I never use it I'd rather use a pressed powder um, same goes for like with actual setting powder I mean I like how this works especially in the summertime but I just I like a pressed powder it's less messy and I can throw it in my purse if I'm going out and getting picking things up and I need to you know if I'm sweating and I need to clean it up this doesn't work so much but a, a pressed one does so I I always hear people talking about them like the hourglass veil which I do happen to have a mini one of because birthday gift thank you Sephora um, but then was it Too Faced that has the ethereal setting powder and I'm like just the name of it makes me want to buy it and I'm like you're not going to use it so I need to stop myself every time it might sound beautiful um, it might have the best claims in the world but um, it, it's still not going to make me want to use it it's just it's messy Next up is a creamy, glossy lipsticks. Um, they're kind of like the hybrid between like a creamy lipstick and a gloss where like they're very emollient and they kind of move all over your lips. And um, these Physicians Formula ones especially, they're very soft. They look really nice on the lips. They feel really nice on the lips, but they go everywhere. And I don't like that. I, I like to have some security when it comes to my lip products. I keep buying these because, you know, Emily Noel talks about them and she loves them. I do not. I do not have the same lip preferences as Emily Noel. And I need to remember that and stop. Don't buy that. Leia, you can. But for me, I need to remind myself as the lid falls off. Don't buy these. <laughs> Next up, I need to stop myself from buying every new liquid eyeliner that comes on the market that claims to be long lasting or waterproof because I'm not sure if it's happening now but this eye is tearing up because that's just what my eyes do because air allergies you know just being alive and my eyes being watery and sensitive it's probably the lights right now um but my eyes water all the time and it doesn't matter what <laughs> what claims a liquid eyeliner has. It can say waterproof, it can say like long lasting, it can say all kinds of things. I have yet to find one that will stay on my eyes and not budge. But yeah, I am always intrigued by the liquid liners and I'm like, maybe this will be the one. And it never is. <laughs> and then I have this whole collection of liquid liners that I'm just not using because it doesn't matter if I'm inside or outside and my eyes tear up and the liquid liner gets ruined, so. Another thing I need to stop buying are under eye concealers, specifically the ones that I hear everyone talking about that make your under eyes look so hydrated and beautiful because they might do that. But the second I put powder on my under eyes, it goes like SpongeBob. Yeah, that's what my under eyes do. But again, I don't like a tacky finish on my under eyes. And I find I get a lot of transfer from my mascara and whatnot if I don't set my under eyes. So it doesn't matter what concealer I use and how hydrating it is. My eye, my eyes, they're not dry under, like I don't have dry under eyes. They're actually just normal. Um, and I do put, um, what's it? Not concealer. I do put concealer on, but I do put moisturizer on usually um, before I put, can like do my makeup. I put under eye cream, moisturizer, yeah, under eye cream on my under eyes. And it doesn't matter. I, it might look really nice with the concealer, but the second the powder, and I've yet to find one, like even this hourglass one and like all kinds of different ones, it still makes my eyes again. <sighs> SpongeBob, you know, when he's dry, not when he's hydrated, <laughs> when he's dried out. Yeah, that's what my under eyes look like as soon as I put it on. Next up is something I keep seeing my eye on and I'm like, I didn't like the first one I got, but maybe the next one will be better. <laughs> and that's Viseart. I really wanted the Chow Chow palette. I saw swatches of it. I had heard reviews of it, seen people using it, and it looked beautiful. And I got it, and I was so disappointed because it's not a bad palette, but my expectations were way up here, and it kind of came in down here. And I'm just like, eh. and now I'm just like, oh, but the Paris Edit palette, that one's really pretty. Maybe I should try that one. I'm not even impressed by the swatches on that one, but I'm just like, it's really pretty, like the colors in it, but I don't need it. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Chow Chow palette in the color story, and the swatches don't look as good as the Chow Chow palette swatches did. In the Chow Chow palette, I don't really 
like the payoff from it. So I'm probably not going to like the payoff from the Parasetti. But in my head, I'm like, maybe this one is better. Maybe I should try another one. No, stop. Don't buy it. You don't need it. I mean, I don't need any of it. But like, really, Leia, you don't need to buy it to prove to yourself that you maybe don't like the Viseart formula. <laughs> the next thing I have to stop buying are liquid shadows. They're pretty, but I don't wear them. I have a bunch from subscription boxes still too. I don't wear them. I don't use them. They're an extra step. I try to make myself use them, but I mean, for all that I have, these will go bad long before I get around to using them. And I mean, that also goes with um, some of these loose pigments that I have. I don't need to buy separate pigments or um, the liquid shadows. I don't use them. I mean, I make myself use them because I have them, but they're not my cup of tea. They might look pretty. Stop buying them. Another thing I have to stop myself from doing all the time is whenever I get an email from Revolution Beauty and it says, hey, spend this much and you get a free mystery bag. Chances are, A, it's a bunch of lipsticks that you'll never wear because they're in shades you'll never wear. Or you already have the things that are in this mystery bag because you've been purchasing from the company for so long. You don't need to go out and just buy 35 pounds or whatever it is, like a product to get a free mystery bag of stuff that you already have just because you're curious. Stop Leia. No. The next thing that I need to not buy is things like this. And this is falling apart badly. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm just going to get my garbage because it, the powder is completely. There we go. So products like this. I don't mind multi-use products when it's like all cheek products or yeah pretty much cheek face products but when we have concealers in here they get all messed up and I mean this is a thing people have been talking about for years please don't include your 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 creamy products right next to your powder things without having some kind of protection over it like these are like lip products I'm never going to use these I never use the eyeshadows in here because I use this as a face palette. So I, I mean, I use the powder <laughs> until it got to the point where it fell apart. Um, I like the bronzer, I like the blush, I like the highlighter, but the other things in here I don't use and I need to stop buying stuff like this and being intrigued by stuff like this because again, Emily Noel, <laughs> she loves things like this that are multi-use. I am not a multi-use person. I don't like stuff like that. I like a palette that's just like face products or I like a palette that's eyeshadow products. I don't like them all together. So I need to not buy stuff like this just because other people like it. Because I don't, I don't even know where to store it half the time. That's why stuff doesn't get used. So stop buying it, Leia. Okay. And the last type of product that I need to stop buying are things that have split pans. I'm talking something like this Too Faced thing. We have a highlighter. We have a bronzer. Every time I use the bronzer, I get it full of highlighter. Not so much with the highlighter because I use a smaller brush, but this is a pain in the butt. These aren't really split, like they have a thing in between, but they're so narrow and I use a fluffier blush brush, so I can't. Oh. Frustrated and then do that. I love these. The quality is great. Same with this. I love the quality of it. But the pan size on this is too small for what it is with other products in it. And then, yeah, like, I have multiples of these and multiples of these. And they frustrate me every time I go to use them. Another thing that I have that's an oldie but a goodie are these from What Not Wild. These color icon trios. Split pans. Again, highlighter, not so much of a problem. Blush and bronzer. It irritates me to no end when I use these. And yet I have multiples of these too. Lots of them. And I know what these are and yet I still pick them up because I'm like, maybe it won't be that bad this time. Really? Really? It's going to be that bad with all of them because they're all the same thing. It's the same sort of design. You're not going to like it. Don't buy it. And those are a bunch of the items that I have to stop myself from buying and picking up. No matter how beautiful or intriguing or how much somebody else talks about them, they're items that I know are either going to irritate me, they're not going to work for me, I'm not going to enjoy them, I'm not going to like how they feel on my face, 
just because other people like them and the quality is good does not mean <laughs> I'm going to like it and that is okay but they are things that I do have to stop myself and like because I'm I'm always right there I'm like oh I'm gonna try that no no stop don't buy that don't buy it Leanne. you don't need it <laughs> let me know in the comments below some of the items that you have to stop yourself from buying or are you pretty good about knowing what you do and you don't like I mean I'm I'm getting there I'm getting better at realizing things but I, I would feel better if I knew other people were like that too, where, you know, they, they're like, oh, I'll give this thing a chance. You know, maybe I haven't liked it in the past, but maybe this one will be different. Anyone else like that? Just me? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.